What is up guys? Welcome back to a new video. So today we're gonna be talking about a lot of stuff I just don't even know where to even start but first let's sip on this magical iced coffee. Let's go Let's start this freaking story. So just recently I actually confessed to my parents that I got kicked out of school So what exactly happened? We'll get into it and everything for the past two to three years that I've been doing YouTube I haven't even told y'all this at all because I just didn't want my parents finding out through YouTube Because if I title the video that or even talk about it because they watch all my videos Hi mom and dad. I just knew that they were gonna find out and I knew that they were gonna get mad so it all started whenever I was 17. I was going into college. I got hit with the high school blues I wouldn't say I was the most popular person in high school, but I was kind of popular in high school I had it was a small school and I had the opportunity of being well known So yeah, all 15 of the students in my grade obviously knew me. I'm just kidding guys It was actually like 80 people in my grade. I graduated then I was working at this job at Smoothie King I've mentioned this before and if you live under a rock and you don't know what Smoothie King is It's a smoothie place obviously that they sell protein smoothies regular smoothies kids smoothies and just some smoothies that have a lot of fruits and vegetables to live a healthier lifestyle so I worked at that place and then there was this manager at the time that hired me he got kicked out because he was having some sexual relations with an employee during working hours so through the chain of command they saw your boy working hard and they were like okay let's get this kid to start being an assistant manager so at the age of 17 I start being an assistant manager and I'm actually a freshman out of college at this time at the time I'm making like $500 a week on top of cash tips and credit card tips so I'm probably bringing home like 650 maybe even 700 on a good week pretty excited I was an assistant manager Nobody around me was even working to that caliber. They were just like still going to school and working little jobs So in my eyes, I was like damn I really made it I was actually really ecstatic at the time because I was like dude I'm making a lot of money compared to my friends and also some family members So it was just something that was very motivating at the time. It was the first semester So I didn't really care too much. I was like, okay, like, you know, this is fairly easy I passed every class but then the second semester came along my grades kind of went from all B's to like C's So I was like, okay, I'm gonna be good. You know what I mean? Anyway, now we get into sophomore year year of college during the summer and everything I actually ha was running my own store so I was already a store manager at the age of 18 so if my freshman year I didn't think my ego was inflated I was already at the point where I was making like 1250 an hour I was a store manager and I was making I think at the time I was making like 550 without cash tips and credit card tips and then after the cash and credit card tips I would bring home like $800 a week since I was a store manager and there was people that would always call sick or they just wouldn't show up your boy of course had to skip class and then I would just literally work for them or I would just work in general even in class I was just so focused and like oh how's my inventory doing I would also be logged in and check to see how my sales were doing like 24 7 I would just be so consumed by it since naturally I'm already like thinking like a businessman I'm like I already run my own business technically and I'm making like $800 a week why do I even need school you know what I mean my attention just started like drifting away from college and that first semester of my sophomore year I actually fell two classes and I was like it's okay like it's whatever I'm not really trying anyway I'm not trying hard enough whatever whatever right I just kept feeding myself with lies so then it started getting to the point where we move on to the second semester. I'm still a store manager, but now I switched stores. I went from working at a big store to a smaller store. And at the time I was actually like taking it a little bit more serious. So I said, I was only taking two classes at the time because I said, why am I gonna take four classes if I'm gonna fail two? I failed one of those classes because again, I just didn't care about school. I wasn't like really focused. In my head, I was like, you know what? Let's make up for it. Let's take some summer classes. And I actually did pass one. I had some momentum. Okay, so now we move on to the next semester. I'm now officially a junior and I just remember that at the time I was literally on cloud nine I was just so excited your boys over here still making manager money and I still had an inflated ego where I was just like yo if you really close your eyes and think about it I'm basically a millionaire at a young age at this time I'm already 19 and I'm still working there and everything is going fine and dandy and then my academic advisor hits me with an email in the middle of the freaking semester and he's like yo just letting you know you're actually really close to getting academic suspension just be careful blah 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 maybe a couple weeks later my grade my midterm grades were really low where he tells me you're in academic probation whatever and then at the end of the semester guys out of the three classes I was taking I failed all of them and I was just like yo what is going on and then I get a freaking email at the end of the semester and he's like I need to talk to you and I was like oh what's what's gonna happen now did do I have like a parking ticket or something well he tells me not only do you have academic probation but you're actually suspended like you're cut I'm like you can't come back next semester next semester you can come back but the thing is you're gonna just be like literally we're gonna be watching you and everything so pretty much with this academic suspension, I can't come back the next semester So I was freaking like scared as hell because I was like, what am I gonna tell my parents? I'm just gonna be like, you know, not going to school or anything like that I was just literally shitting bricks, honestly Then your boy gets the evil idea of what to do So I start thinking to myself, let me convince them that I want to go to the community college Just to get my associate's degree It's a fail-proof plan, they're not gonna see it coming So yeah, I go to the community college, sign some paperwork And then I have academic probation there I had already convinced my parents and I just told them See, I'm just trying to get my associate's degree, guys I'm just 
just trying to like uh, finish fast. Whoa, that does not sound right. But y'all know what I mean. I'm talking about in the classroom, not in the bedroom. Okay, this is getting awkward. And then later that semester, I just actually transitioned from working my Smoothie King managerial job. I go over to my dad's and he just starts kind of like telling me like, hey, if you have exams, anything that you have to do, you have the day off. Like, just let me know, blah, blah, blah. I start doing that and I slowly start doing better. My grades get better. And then the unthinkable freaking happens. The C word happens. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The pandemic, the vid, anything that you can think of. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The <laughs> sniffle, sniffle, sneeze, sneeze. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If I'm gonna be honest, that's like the best thing that's ever happened to me because as soon as that happened, literally classes that I was not doing well in at the community college, I just started doing better and better. But of course, we're gonna be honest, the professors were being very lenient. They didn't want you to fail and everything like that. So they were pretty much passing everybody. And then that summer, I did four classes. I passed all of them. The momentum just started building up. It's like an avalanche, baby. Anyway, the time goes by and your boys is doing really good and everything. And then I go and visit my uncle and he tells me, hey, do you wanna be working at the tire shop forever? In case you don't know me, my dad actually owns a tire shop. Going back to the story, I went to go visit my uncle this random day and he just tells me, so you're about to finish school, are you excited, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I am. And he was like, well, I need to tell you something. You're just being lazy. And I was just like, bro, what are you talking about? I'm about to get my associates. Like, that's a pretty big accomplishment. A lot of my family members don't have even an associates. And he was like, yeah, but you're being lazy. By the way, he does have his bachelor's degree. So that's why he's saying that. And I was just thinking to myself like, damn, this guy's going kind of hard on me. Look, look at my hands. Like I work here at the tire shop because I thought I was gonna make a lot of money. And he just started telling me all these things and then he was just like do you want to be like this do you want your body to hurt whenever you can actually just be in an office just working living your life and he's like you can be making good money and you'll be living the life just think about it and you can retire early and do you want to be hurting like the way I am and I was just like whoa I think he's right like do I really want to be working at the tire shop forever like do I really want to be doing this because I forgot to mention I was actually debating if I should just stay at the tire shop forever right and I just got to the point where I started like accepting it I was like screw it I'm gonna do the tire shop it worked through my family like they made money and everything in reality it wasn't what i truly wanted it was just something that i was trying to fix i was just trying to put a band-aid there you know what i mean i was just trying to do a slight little fit ever since that day i just started getting motivated and i just started realizing that school is very easy you just need to apply yourself just like anything in life i don't know it's just tough especially as y'all know i don't have any siblings my parents didn't have the opportunity to go to the university i don't have those people around me that have their degrees and are trying to like you know push me to do it and again i'm not talking bad about anybody it's just that that's the truth. I was just in the point where I was making a certain amount of money and I thought that was going to be like enough. I thought I was going to be happy and that was definitely not the case. It was just never really about the money. At the time I was just like not mature enough to notice that my parents were giving me an opportunity of a lifetime that a lot of people aren't really fortunate to have. My parents helped me a lot with school. Now that I'm older I really do appreciate it. I'm supposed to be having an easier life by going to school and just like doing everything the correct way living the American dream because my family didn't get to do so. They had to like bust their butts you know making Mexican in restaurants, opening tire shops, working construction. So I completely understand, you know what I mean? Now that I'm older, I, I do understand. I just took that opportunity for granted. That's something I definitely regret. So if you're not in college yet, honestly, like just really realize what you're doing because hey, I'm not like a big advocate about going to college and everything. In my opinion, I feel like, you know, if you want to be an entrepreneur and you want to like run your own business and everything, I don't necessarily think you need to go to school. But if your dream is to be a doctor, a chiropractor, a dentist, literally any degree you can think of, take the opportunity and like just do it. I, I don't know. It's just just like at the end it's gonna be worth it i'm not at the end yet i'm about to cross the finish line and i just feel like so thankful that i finally got mature enough to do it i also feel like living through the college years is very important i got to party in that time not that partying is important but you get to learn a lot about yourself i feel like you get to slow down versus like there's other people that as soon as they graduated high school they hop into having kids already they hop into working in the oil field and they just like don't really get being a kid feeling they just go straight to the oil field and then just probably like get really drunk on saturdays and then like recover from the hang over on Sunday and then after that they go back to just working hard you know what I mean I got to take the slow route and enjoy the past five years that I've been going to school I'm just very thankful that I got the opportunity to slow down and just be able to like smell the coffee <laughs> get it <laughs> the cringy joke no more dad joke I'm not a father in a way I got to enjoy my youth I've been out of town by myself without my parents I've partied I got the girl of my dreams everything had to take its time so thank you mom and dad I love y'all thank you to my subscribers for a lot of people leave me a lot of kind notes and stuff and they always tell me like hey keep going i'm so proud of you you're almost done with school and i really do appreciate that guys from the bottom of my heart i love everybody who's watching this and thank you again for all the love and support all over the years i just can't wait to keep vlogging and just talking about my life and just doing all this it's just uh you know this is a dream come true i'm just thankful for every opportunity in my life you already know the drill baby if you like this freaking video go ahead like subscribe comment we'll see you on the next video guys peace